Greetings, everybody. Get your King James Bible. Go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 36. This is a continuation of the Jeremiah Commentary Series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jeremiah 36 and verse 1. And it came to pass in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that this word came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, uh, now remember, things were bad uh, prior to Josiah, but Josiah was a good king and he tried to bring a revival. The Lord was going to destroy things in the days of Josiah, but because there was a revival, somewhat, uh, the Lord held it off until after he had died. Well, then Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, well, he didn't... Uh, he didn't quite measure up to his dad, to put it lightly. So, all right. So, that this word came from Jeremiah, from the Lord, saying, So the Lord says, verse 2, Take thee a roll of a book, and write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel, and against Judah, and against all the nations from the day I spake unto thee, from the days of Josiah, even unto this day. Verse 3. It may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I purpose to do unto them, that they may return every man from his evil way, that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Baruch, the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord which he had spoken unto him upon a roll of a book. Now, Baruch was his uh, scribe, kind of like a secretary. Verse 5. And Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am shut up. I cannot go into the house of the Lord. Therefore, go thou and read in the roll where uh, which thou hast written from my mouth the words of the Lord in the ears of the people in the Lord's house upon the fasting day. A fasting day. Uh, there is at least one fasting day that I'm aware of in the Bible. And that would be the Day of Atonement. You can read about it, I believe, either in Deuteronomy and or Leviticus. So, therefore go thou and read in the roll which thou hast written from my mouth the words of the Lord in the ears of the people in the Lord's house upon the fasting day. And also thou shalt read them in the ears of all Judah that come out of their cities. Now the fasting day was a day, the day of atonement was a day of fasting and prayer, sackcloth and ashes for all the evil that you had done in time past. Kind of like trying to turn over a new leaf. So, verse 8. And Baruch the son of Ner Neriah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. And it came to pass in the fifth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, in the ninth month, that they proclaimed a fast before the Lord to all the people in Jerusalem and to all the people that came from the cities of Judah unto Jerusalem. Then read Baruch in the book the words of Jeremiah in the house of the Lord in the chamber of Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, the scribe, in the higher court at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house in the ears of all the people. 
when Micaiah, the son of Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, had heard out of the book all the words of the Lord. Then he went down into the king's house, into the scribe's chamber, and lo, all the princes sat there, even Elishama the scribe, and Delaliah the son of Shemaiah, and El Nathan, the son of Akbor, and Gemariah the son of Shaphan, and Zedekiah the son of Hananiah, and all the princes. Yeah, I know. Learn how to pronounce Hebrew words, Bob. Then Micaiah declared unto them all the words that he had heard when Baruch read the book in the ears of the people. Therefore all the princes sent Yehudi, the son of Nethaniah, the son of Shelmaniah, the son of Cushai, unto Baruch, saying, Take in thine hand the roll wherein thou hast read in the ears of the people, and come. So Baruch, the son of Neriah, took the roll in his hand, and came unto them. And they said unto him, Sit down now, and read it in our ears. So Baruch read it in their ears. So here it is, the words of Jeremiah, well, the words of the Lord, are being read to the princes of Judah. You know, this is the, uh, the royalty, the important crowd, right? All right, verse 16. Now it came to pass, when they had heard all these words, they were afraid, both one and other, and said unto Baruch, We will surely tell the king of all these words. See, they believed Jeremiah. They believed the Lord's words. Verse 17. And they asked Baruch, saying, Tell us now. How didst thou write all these words? At his mouth? Then Baruch answered them, He pronounced all these words unto me with his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Then said the princes unto Baruch, Go, hide thee, thou and Jeremiah, and let no man know where ye be. Hmm. So they're telling Baruch, uh, go and don't you go with and find uh, and get Jeremiah and you guys hide. Don't tell not one person where you are. Don't tell anybody. Don't trust no one. Get out of Dodge because nobody's nobody's going to going to nobody's going to want to hear these words. Well, that's yeah. So go and hide, you and Jeremiah. Don't let anybody know where you are. No one. That's the Bob translation. Verse 20. And they went into the king, into the court, but they laid up the roll in the chamber of Elishama, the scribe, and told all the words in the ears of the king. So the king sent Yehudi to fetch the roll, and he took it out of Elishama the scribe's chamber, and Yehudi read it in the ears of the king, and in the ears of all the princes which stood beside the king. Now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire, there was a fire on the hearth burning before him. So he's at the winter house, it's a little cold, they got a little fire going there, you know, a hearth. Sort of like a fireplace. Verse 23. And it came to pass that when Yehudi had read three or four leaves, he cut it with a penknife. Ooh, he's reading the roll here. He read three or four leaves. He cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. Yet, they were not afraid. Yet, they were not afraid. Can you imagine that? Burning God's word 
and you you're not afraid do you realize this guy's probably been burning in the flames of hell for well over 2,000 years waiting for the final judgment at the white throne judgment seat of Christ verse 24 yet they were not afraid nor rent their garments did they rip their clothes neither the king nor any of his servants that heard all these words wow i bet you they're afraid now verse 25 nevertheless i'll el nation el nathan and delaliah and gemariah had made intercession to the king that he would not burn the roll, but he would not hear them. So these three said, don't, don't burn this roll, my king. But would he listen? No. Verse 26. But the king commanded Jeremiel, the son of Hamalek, and Sariah, the son of Azrael, and Shelmaliah, the son of Abdeel, to take Baruch the scribe and Jeremiah the prophet. Yeah, go go get these guys, and we're gonna we're gonna get these guys. Go get them. But the Lord hid them. See, the princes were pretty sure that the words of Jeremiah would not be well received. That's why he told Baruch and Jeremiah, go somewhere and hide. But the Lord hid them. And you know what? When the Lord hides you, you will not be found. And you know what, people? This is what's coming for the future of the church. You know, all these pre-trib rapture uh, people, they're going to be sorely disappointed. They're going to have to make a choice. Deny the Lord and save your skin or die for your faith. Most likely get your head cut off. But you try to tell them this and they'll argue and fight with you and say, oh, you're not even saved. Uh, God would never let the church go through that. That's his bride. He loves his bride. And, and God's not a wife beater. Oh, really? So Paul and, and Stephen got stuck. Uh, stones thrown at them and and uh, prophets were sawn asunder and had their heads cut off and were killed because God's not a wife beater right yeah yeah you know I've come to the conclusion I would rather hang out with people that don't even believe in the Lord than most of these church people church goers I guess you could say Wow. So they were commanded to take Baruch and Jeremiah and arrest them. But the Lord hid them. 27. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. After that, the king had burned the roll and the words which Baruch, Baruch wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, Take thee again another roll. And write in it all the former words that were in the first roll, which Jehoiakim, Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, had burned. And thou shalt say to Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Thus saith the Lord, Thou hast burned this roll, saying, Why hast thou written therein, saying, The king of Babylon shall certainly come and destroy this land, and shall cause to cease from thence man and beast? Therefore, thus saith the Lord of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, he shall have none to sit upon the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat, and in the night to the frost. And I will punish him and his seed and his servants for their iniquity, and I will bring upon them and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and upon the men of Judah, all the evil that I have pronounced against them, but they hearken not. 
So instead of getting on their hands and knees and begging the Lord for forgiveness and changing their ways, they burn the words of the Lord. Verse 32. Then took Jeremiah another roll and gave it to Baruch the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, had burned in the fire. And there were added besides unto them many like words. All right, that's the end of Jeremiah chapter 30, 36. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.